Hi, it's Mike again. Welcome to another video. A couple months ago, my son got into uh, mountain biking, got pretty serious, and uh, he came to me recently and says, hey, do you want to get into mountain biking and uh, night riding again? I'm like, yeah, 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 I could do that. I love night riding. So I, I pulled up my old PLT light system from the, you know, the late 90s and charged it all up and plugged it in, and lo and behold, it still worked. But uh, realistically, you know, these halogen bulbs aren't really that bright anymore compared to the modern day LEDs. Like this is a 10 and a 15 watt halogen bulb. The equivalent lumens is probably around 400 lumens, that thing. Like my Phoenix flashlight that I have here, this is 350 lumen and it's just one LED bulb. So I figured, you know, yeah, if we're gonna get serious into this, let's let's see what's available in the market for LED uh, bike light system. So we did some research and we found a lot, but uh, any decent lights is north of $300. And you know, that's, that's a lot of money for my son. You know, he's just a student and I figured there must be a simpler way. So I did some research and I found this automotive light bar. It runs on 12 volts and I, developed this battery system and it works awesome like you will be surprised on how well this works the equivalent to lumens in this thing is probably around 1300 and i tell you it's more than enough to to ride the trails and stuff like that i got all in my system is around 40 dollars now if you had to buy the batteries on amazon or online you're probably looking at about a hundred dollars for a hundred dollars and a little bit of work you can make yourself a really good light bar system for your mountain bike you can have a lot of fun with it keep watching and i'll break down on how i built all this and i'll do a comparison between this blt lights and this phoenix flashlight and this and you can make the determination if this is a project that you want to get into as well but i tell you this thing's awesome so the heart of this whole system is this LED light bar that I picked up for $15 from Princess Auto. Uh, Princess Auto is similar to Harbor Freight. Um, you can buy these on Amazon as well. And it says six LEDs. It has a flood and a spot all built into one. It has these big uh, uh, cooling fins on it. Um, I'm not sure how hot it will actually get. And I wired in a little switch up on the handlebar and then it goes down to an actual drill battery. So that's a 12 volt drill battery. And I'll show you how I put that all together. It's pretty straightforward. You know, realistically, there's really no major electronics involved, just a little bit of soldering. And uh, the claimed lumens for this is around 1300. So for 1300 lumens, it's, it's wicked. Uh, you'll see how bright it actually is. I ended up just using some quick connectors I found in the automotive shop to make it go on and off really easy. They seem to be pretty secure, but I'm going to end up going with a waterproof system that kind of screws on for extra security. And I'm going to put the battery into an actual water bottle and put foam around it and make it waterproof as well. And these batteries are pretty light. I'll be able to carry another one in my backpack and probably have a two, three hour ride time, no problem with this. Right now it's just Velcroed on. Seems to hold pretty good, but uh, any serious trails I'm going to make a little bit more secure. So we're back in the shop here. I'm gonna break down all the components I use to make this bike light. So the heart of it is this actual mini light bar that I picked up from Princess Auto. So Princess Auto in Canada is similar to Harbor Freight in the United States. And this is actually an automotive light bar. So it has a flood beam with the center spot. You know, it cost me $15. I figured for $15, you cannot lose. So the, the unfortunate thing is this actually runs on 12 volts. So I had to come up with a battery pack. So I didn't really want to make a special battery pack and a charging system for it. So I went with the Milwaukee M12 battery system that I already had. So, you know, this was a freebie. I have the Milwaukee drill, drill set. This came along with them. And this comes with all different types of sizes. You can give 1.5 amp hour to 2 amp hour to 3 amp hour. So you can carry these in your backpack. You can carry one or two of them to extend your ride. And they're contained. And it comes with a charging system and it's proven. So that was a no-brainer. All I had to do was figure out how to do um, uh, the adapter system for get power off this. And I'll show you how I did that. Uh, furthermore, to mount the lights to the handlebar is a little more trickier, so I tr decided to try to go with the GoPro um, handlebar mounts for GoPro cameras. So I ended up buying two, and I figured if I could put two on the handlebars and do a crossbar system, it may work pretty good. So when I first started working with it, it actually worked pretty good, but it was a little flexy and a little high, and I didn't really like that. So I, what I ended up doing was going with these bottom mounts, and I made my own aluminum cross plate for extra strength. And then I made my own bottom 
um, mounts that mount on the bottom of that cross plate and go down. And these bolts are extra long to go over top of my 35 millimeter handlebars on my mountain bike. So to utilize the GoPro bottom mount so I could take this on and off with ease, I had to get special metric bolts and I need to get ones that were long enough. So I found out that M5 by eight by 40 millimeters long work perfectly to fit over my 35 millimeter bar. So that's the plate and the mounting system. I used the bottom of the GoPro mounts and then I mounted the light right to the bar and I'll show you how that works. So what I ended up doing is making this out of aluminum and you can just take a file and a, a rounded file to make that contour perfectly for the handlebar. So that seemed to work really good. And then I threaded this down so this bolt goes all the way down and recesses into the hole and that's all threaded and then Loctite. So that locks into place perfectly. And then you can put the GoPro mount on it. So that's the bottom part of the handlebar mount. So I need a little spacer to get over across of my uh, stem. So we'll just go like that. And there's the bracket to mount the light. The light mounts right there. And this goes to top of the handlebar. So what I'll do is down in the description below, I'll put actual plans on all the dimensions and what I did to build this. And then the the GoPro mounts just fit on the bottom here. And you can utilize the existing wing nuts that they give you. And that's it. That's the mount. It's pretty solid. Holds the light pretty good. So I ended up going with some actual trailer mounts that I picked up at Princess Auto as well. So it's a really good gauge wire. I have a switch that I made out of some Delron. And basically it turns on and off and I'll mount that up by the handlebar and it's just spliced into the wire and this is long enough to go down into the, where the water bottle mount is. And there you have it. So the wire I used for all this is actually an old extension cord I got from an old appliance that didn't work anymore. It's the proper gauge and it comes uh, waterproof, all nicely sealed. So that seemed to work and I had a bunch of this so that was free for me to do. We're going to use the Milwaukee M12 battery and these are the plus and minuses right here. So all I'm going to do is put two quick connectors spade connector that go right in there perfectly like that and I will bring wire out there and I'll solder this on to the connection here a little bit of Delron here I'll put make a little holder bracket and with some velcro I will make some little loops in here so hold it all down you can buy little adapters for these things but I don't think you need to you can just make it work with this you can use it use some plastic or you could probably just use a piece of wood. So I'll show you how that goes together too. This piece of Delron and I'll just make a groove here. And I'll, stuff cuts easy with a hacksaw and just and I'll just cut a little groove so it kind of sits right like that. Let's mark these up like that. Get some small zap straps. Like that. And then I'll go down like that. And then I'll run some Velcro like that all the way around and that will hold it down. That won't come loose. So you want to make sure that you screw this down first and get this all done and hot glue gun in before you actually solder the top leads in. So I'll end up soldering that plug onto there. You want to make sure that you know which one's negative and positive because the LEDs only work one way. Take that off and then this will go around the bottom and hold it down.
So the soldering is all done. I'll slide the heat shrink up. And before I put it, the, any of the heat shrink on, before I heat it up, I'm going to test it to see if it actually, I got the polarity right. So we'll plug that in there. And then I will plug that in there and I'll flick the switch here. Whoa, yep, there you go. So that's the basic unit. It breaks down to three parts. You got the light, you got the bracket mount, and then you've got the battery section. And these M12 batteries, you can buy a two pack off of Amazon for like $40, $50. And so you could just put one in your backpack and you could probably get about two or three hours worth of ride time. And so it's with the quick connectors, click like that. They're pretty solid, they're used for trailers. And then, oh. What I think I'm gonna do is actually get an old water bottle to cut the water bottle off on the top, slide this in, probably put some foam around there so it doesn't rattle around. But that should work perfectly. Okay, let's do a little bit of weight comparison here. Let's put my Phoenix flashlight here. And it's 136 grams. So that's 1,040 grams for the BLT system. And now for the light bar system that I just made is 823 grams. So I'll just show you, we'll remove it, which is zero. There you go. So these are my old BLT lights. These are both beams are on, so I have a 10 and a 15 watt. So basically this is 25 watts of halogen power. And I used to race on these. I did the 24 hours of adrenaline on these and we won the four person elite just on these lights. We thought they were the cat's meow. There you go. That's the light bar setup. That's a lot different. Cause I'll turn that off. We'll put the Phoenix flashlight. So there's that. And I'll turn on the light bar. I think that's more than enough to go mountain biking in. So that's about 1300 lumens. Okay, so that's my Phoenix flashlight for reference. Turn that off and now we'll try the light bar setup. And that's my old BLT setup with a fresh six volt battery. Well, I hope you found that informative and I hope it inspires you to build something as well. Um, the results are actually quite impressive for the amount of money I got into it. And I have no qualms in taking this on the trail, any type of single track or extreme mountain bike trail. I, it's really that good. I'll put a link below in the comment section of all the parts I use and I'll actually put some plans on how I made the bracket to tie it to the handlebar. It's really not that tough to make, just uh, there's certain measurements you need to get right and I'll, I'll have that all on a drawing for you. So once again, thanks for watching. Night time, day time.